Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. This is what I call my morning musings. We are involved in a study of the eschatology of the parables. We're in Matthew chapter 25, where Jesus tells the parable of the ten virgins, five wise, five foolish, as they wait for the coming of the bridegroom for the wedding. Now, there's a motif here, and that is the burning of the lamps, the preparation, the, the readiness at the coming of the bridegroom. If he comes at midnight, that the lamps would be burning. This is an important motif. You know, it, it, it's not something that's just sort of kind of thrown in there. Notice that on another occasion in Luke chapter 13, Jesus speaking to his disciples says, let, let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. Now I want you to notice how Jesus puts two motifs together here. Number one, the burning of the lamps. Number two, the girding up of their waist. Now what does that mean? Well, you know, we're not very familiar with that because of the difference of our clothing. In the first century, you had, an, you had a garment that was kind of a long flowing garment. When you're working, you took the, the lower part of your garment and you tucked it into your waistband so that it wouldn't get it, uh, in the way, so that it wouldn't get caught in anything and endanger you. So having your loins girt up was an image that things are about to happen, in other words. It conveys the idea of imminence just as the burning of the lamp. So you have two images here, both of which go together to say you've got to be prepared, that the time is right. Okay, but notice Luke chapter 13. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, you yourselves. Now that's pretty emphatic in the Greek. Like men who wait for the master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Jesus, speaking to his 12 apostles, said, You yourselves have your loins girded, have your lamps burning, because the bridegroom will come. Well, there's another text that draws on this imagery, and it is 1 Peter chapter 1. Many commentators have seen the connection here. Unfortunately, they almost refuse to acknowledge the eminence that is there. Now, in 1 Peter chapter 1, Peter says that Christ was ready to be revealed. But notice also this. As he speaks of the salvation that was ready to be revealed at the coming of the Lord, he says, therefore, therefore what? In light of the fact that we the apostles are revealing that the time has come, the time unknown to the Old Testament prophets, now being revealed to us, therefore gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be wrought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. You see? Here is Jesus talking about the importance of having the lamps burning for the coming of the bridegroom. Here is Jesus saying, gird up the loins of your mind, have your lamps burning, and later in that very generation, speaking of preparation for the coming of the Lord, Peter urges his audience, let your loins be gird up, be ready. Folks, it's been 2,000 years since that. That's not a timeless exhortation. It is an exhortation just like Jesus speaking to that first century group of disciples says, you yourselves have your loins girt up, your lamps burning. Be ready for the bridegroom. And so John closes out the book of Revelation. The spirit and the bride say come. The time for the wedding was at hand. Thanks so much for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. Hey, don't forget, go to my website <clears throat> and order the 2006 Preterist Pilgrim Weekend on the parables, the eschatology of the parables of Jesus, or 
and or the 32 lesson series on the parables of Jesus that I presented. Order one or both and I'll refund your shipping, okay? Great, great resource material. Thanks again for joining me. We'll see you on the flip side.